What is going on guys? Well, as I lay in bed late at night thinking about how can I make my videos better for you guys, I thought about it. And I said, well, we added a second nozzle, then we added a second hose. So, I think, now that we had two heaters, what if we just had three? What if we change absolutely nothing and add three or maybe, maybe four resistive heaters? So we got all four out. And at first, we're gonna try changing nothing. Just like we did last time, exact same test. If you saw my old video, put it up here, or maybe up there, I don't know which corner it is. And, but I'll put it up there if you haven't seen it. And for this video, after we try nothing, other than adding more resistance, well, I got a little bit larger pulleys. Right now, I think, I believe the one on here is a 36 tooth in there, and this is a 40 tooth. So it's just a little bit more, maybe squeeze a little bit more power out, like maybe if we're right on that verge of the amount of torque it can handle. And if we really want to go crazy, I got 60s right there. And because I made this to be adjustable, I should just be able to take everything apart. And because the rod, or I could, I guess I could just pull the rod through it and then re realign everything. I'll probably do that. That seems like the easiest way. But I can swap it out, but we'll work our way up. First, though, I want to see if this was capable of making more power, but our limiting factor was just the resistance. So let's get it all set up and get ready to get wet. But just in case you haven't seen my other videos, let's just run through this really quick. First, you have the hose that comes from the front of my house. It runs up here. That's this hose. This hose is off a second spigot, which comes around. They do sh share the same water line coming into the house but it only drops a little bit. I think it dropped like 20 PSI when one was fully open. After that, you have the actual Pelton buckets. I think there's 18 individual buckets in here. They are ASA Vapor Smooth, so they have as little water resistance as they can. I probably could have got them a little better, but they are, they've worked pretty well for this application. Then you have the housing. I don't know what, oh. Oh, because I snapped the leg off. It's nice, I just left the screw right there. But you have the housing, which then you have, that pulley is actually just right now, that's if you have a second motor. But right now it's just kind of hanging out. I leave the belt there, it's fine. The top one, you have that 36 tooth pulley up there on the belt to a 20 tooth pulley off the motor shaft. And I believe this one, so everyone doesn't freak out, I think this is the 250 watt, 250 watt motor. So you know, not 350, 250. And there you have it. And then you come out there with the wires to our little power analyzer, which is always impossible to see. If you guys know of any of these that are really bright and maybe waterproof, I'd love to know. And then we have our 12 volt, 25 watt heaters. And a lot of the time I've seen them only really get up to 20 watts, but I think once they warm up, they do get up to 25. These are waterproof, so. Let's now turn on the water, we'll grab our voltage, and then we'll connect three, and then maybe four, just to have some fun and see if the power changes, and then we'll try some different pulleys. So a funny or not so funny thing happened. Yesterday when I went to turn the water on up front, of course not the one right here, this valve, and I will put a picture of it in here so you can see. Oh. Oh, because I snapped the leg off. It's nice, I just left the screw right. Was wide open. And if you notice, there wasn't a gauge here. This wouldn't have mattered if it just washed the house. But this valve was wide open. My camera was sitting right here. Like, laying down on the... Like, I mean, it could not have been more perfect from when I ran around the side of the house when I heard the sound of the water flowing. And I come out, and I'm just watching the camera taking the full force of the water and this taking the secondary. Somehow this was somehow found a way after the camera was just absorbing all of the water. But it seems like the camera's actually okay, or it's okay for right now. So it's the next day, I put both of these in a bag of rice. I think the microphone and speaker are working again on the camera. Video seems to be working maybe better. Maybe all you have to do is just wash your camera every once in a while, clean it out. Um, but yeah, let's give it a test, and I'm going to show this with uh, nothing connected in the first one, I'll, just like normal, 
I want to make sure it's not showing an amperage when there's no load on it because that was the issue yesterday. I'll sh insert that video here. And if you noticed, we actually made a record amount of power with no load. So now I do have these wires connected, but this side is disconnected, so there should be no power draw. And then we'll start with probably two, three, and then work our way up to the fourth if we can and see what the power goes. And then we'll jump to that 40 tooth like we said. Without for further ado, oh my God, imagine if I did it again demonstrating it for you guys. We're just gonna, just, gonna, just, just everything's just gonna go over here. The camera's gonna be off to the side. I'll put it over, oh, oh, what's this? What's this right here? Could this be the next video project I'm working on? All right, well, it seems like it's really, balanced pretty well this time so let's get this hooked up and we'll turn on the first nozzle then we'll power up the second one and see if we can at least match our power output from last time on two heaters and then we'll connect the third heater and see if we can get an increase in power all right let's get the first nozzle on and I like this extended wire I can now hide where it's not getting me soaked I All right, it's making about 20 watts right now. We're gonna come where it's nice and dry right here. Crank the second hose on. You'll hear it dip down, but it'll come back up in RPM once the water goes through the hose. This right here, I saw 49, but of course it went off camera when it did it. But I saw 40, oh, there we go. Right, which right there, that was a record in of itself. I'm gonna hook up this third heater and see, but you can already hear the RPM dropping off on this thing, so. I don't know, I wonder if that brick is splashing water in there or not. All right, let me connect this third one and see how it does. All right, so I hope I didn't just blow the moat. Oh, that's weird. This is extremely hot, so I'm, ex I'm assuming we just lost. I don't see a set screw. Oh, we lost. We were making that much power with no set screw. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll have to go grab a new set screw or two, and I will put them in there, and we will do this again. And now we have the self... Uh, I was wondering, I, saw, I literally looked over and thought the shaft of the motor was coming up and down and thought it blew up. So I'll get the set screw replaced and we'll go from there. And then we'll, and then we'll connect that third motor or that third heater. All right, now it has a set screw. So that uh, pulley should stay on that motor. And now I have all three of the resistive heaters hooked up on this side. I just have to touch the white one over here and then it'll be connected. So I'm gonna turn it on, hopefully it won't make bad noises this time, and then we can hook up and see with all three. Let's see. Good sign so far. I think we're just gonna power up the second one. Or, you know what? Let's just drop, the, let's connect, let's connect the heaters and then power up the second one. It's gonna, here, listen to the RPM drop in this motor. Get the second one powered up. All right, well, it's, it's not showing, but it's right about 40 watts right now. There you go. And it, let's lose one of these heaters. All right, so now this is how much power it's making with two heaters. So load was not our issue. We were actually probably ma maxing out the two of these. 53. That's actually just a record right there. 
But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but I'm gonna switch over to the 40, 40 uh, tooth pulley. Let me turn this off. All right, so as you saw there, it actually peaked at 53 watts, which I believe is another new record for this. But today I want to hit 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out the pull, this top pulley right here. This bottom one doesn't matter because it's not connected right now. But I'm going to switch out that top pulley for a 40 tooth. So it'll go from a 36 tooth to a 40 tooth. It should give it a little bit more. And maybe, just maybe, we can squeeze 60, 60 watts out of two of these heaters even though they're only rated for 25 watts. Just doesn't seem like right now we have enough water flow to power three of these. But now we know, two is the limit. Let's get this first one fired up. It definitely vibrates a little bit more. But on just one hose, it seems to make a lot more voltage. It seems quieter too. Maybe he likes this one. All right, let's get, you know what? Let's see how much power it can make on just one hose. All right, it's struggling in the voltage, but it's making about 21 watts. I'm gonna focus here. There you go. It's making about 21 watts on one hose. Let's crack this second hose open and see how much power we can make. It'll dip down for a second. And... Unless this picks up somewhere, it seems like I think what happened is, uh, did we lose another? Oh, I'm not sure what happened on this time. Oh, the, uh, the skirt came in. I think the pull, I think the, uh, Pelton wheel just dropped down. I wonder if it destroyed itself. Oh, oh, that's not good. Well, I think we have, I think we have it for this video. I think we have it for this video. We have figured out, in this current configuration with two hoses and the setup we had, a 36 tooth was the ideal power output for this. The 40 is just a little too much. So it's back to the drawing board for this and stay tuned for the other projects. I do read all of your 